I'll fight it somewhere. Yeah, so this title is called uh, Stop Sucking Middleman D because a giant uh, company that would accept your keys from you, which is the opposite of why cryptocurrency was invented. Cryptocurrency was invented to get rid of counterparty risk, to get rid of middlemen. And so what do people do? They give their keys, which are their coins, to middlemen. And then the middlemen lose your coins, lose your keys, get robbed, get hacked, steal your stuff. And so now we've got Celsius, and uh, Celsius just stopped all withdrawals, all transfers, all everything. So all you guys that didn't listen, you got screwed because you wanted to pick up pennies in front of freight trains, no matter how many times I warned you. And I've been right, 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 and I've been right a million times, and now I'm right again. So, yep, uh, it sucks being right all the time when the things you're right about are things that suck. Unfortunate. I guess uh, there's a name for it. It's called the, yeah, I don't remember. In ancient, uh, <clears throat> in ancient Greek history, there was this uh, lady that would always, the Cassandra, the Cassandra effect. She'd always predict the future and no one would believe her, and it was her curse. So I guess that's my curse, the Cassandra effect. So what else? Um, boy, you guys love selling hex, don't you? Yep. And the more you sell hex, the more I get yelled at. I think it's pretty funny. Uh, hex dip is real. Hex went up 30x the last time Bitcoin topped from 65k and died. Uh, but this time, when Bitcoin died, Hex died too. Unfortunate. Uh, I wish it did the same thing it did last time and went up 30x, but it didn't. So, as far as Pulse Chain goes, we're still waiting on devs to finish it. It's not ready yet. So, we're still working on Jala validator jailing and rotation and refactoring and moving things uh, from inside the EVM to outside the EVM so they're a lot faster so we don't fill up the blocks. So basically, let me explain this to you guys. The slowest part of Ethereum is the EVM. It limits all your throughput. And while the existing infrastructure we have now can do, you know, 4x, 10x, 40x, depending on what settings we use for maximum gas, because the block times are three times faster, you can fill up all that space with internal mechanics that you need to keep everything working right. So people stake and they delegate and those people that delegated need paid for those stakes. Well, then those transactions will suck up uh, space from the blockchain. And you don't want to suck up all the space from the blockchain with internal overhead. So if you can shift a lot of the internal overhead outside of the EVM, then you can maintain your throughput and then have all the, you know, like you don't want a denial of service vector to be delegating stake. And so there's this art of picking limits, picking maximums, picking which side, which things are inside the EVM or not. And we're just optimizing those things. And to tell you the truth, in a terrible bear market, it's a great time to optimize those things anyway. So <clears throat> it's, it's a, a good coincidence. What else? So uh, for you guys that are just now listening for the first time, you guys that have listened before, oh, you know what? I never sent the link anywhere. No one's watching right now. Oh my God. The, <laughs> never, I said I had to restart the stream because nothing was working. So I have to go shill this link. Give me a second. Hilarious. Even with not shilling the link, there's 1,700 people watching. So that's pretty cool. Let me do a better job here shilling. And then I'll just delete the old one, I guess. Sorry for the delays, y'all. We're lucky this works at all. I'm not set up for this. I've got to uh, do this over on the Telegram Twitter side. <clears throat> I feel sorry for the other couple thousand people that'll show up that didn't hear all the cool stuff in the beginning. They'll have to rewind. <clears throat> Just finding the link to retweet it. Get 
am I doing? My God. Delete the old one. Oh, did I never tweet the original one? No, oh, I did. Okay. Let's get rid of that. Cool. Spread the links, everybody. Spread the links. You're, you're making me stream from my uh, room here, so. Mm. Hello, everyone. Just now watching Richard Hart win on Twitter, Richard Hart official on Instagram, Richard Hart on. Is that it? Oh, Richard Hart on YouTube. I was right. I called the top, told everybody about it. BTC with its limp 3x new all time high from 20k to 69k is now, as we speak, oh boy, let's go see how cheap Bitcoin is now. You know, people want to tell you it was going to 100,000. I told you the top was in. I was right. They were wrong. Did the same thing with Ethereum. Said 27 days later, last cycle, Ethereum died after pumping versus Bitcoin. The cycle, 27 days later, Ethereum died. That was the top. You wouldn't listen. BTC USD. Twenty five K. Hmm. I'm not looking so good, Bitcoin. Let's get a better chart. I think Bitcoin's going to eleven K, by the way, as I've said time and time and time again. No one listens. Uh Bitcoin low today of twenty four eighty eight. So we got 25k Bitcoin. Ethereum is getting wrecked as well. Sucks to be right about all these things. I'm sorry that people that didn't listen are getting demolished. Ethereum low today of 1300. I tweeted that uh, it was interesting that you used to be able to get 1337 Ethereum, which is the price now, uh, for one Bitcoin back when Ethereum launched. <clears throat> now you can only get uh, 18 or 19 Ethereum for one Bitcoin. That's how much Ethereum is demolished Bitcoin, but people don't pay attention. It's like they're stupid. They just don't listen. It's like wild to me. If you guys are like Ethereum, you love the world's largest airdrop. We're working on it. Free coins for every Ethereum holder. Free coins for every ERC20 holder. Pulsechain.com. <clears throat> when it comes out, it's going to be glorious. It's just not ready yet. <clears throat> We're getting there. My hat look crooked. My hat crooked. What's going on here? Straight hat, please. Oh, I was wearing it sideways today for fun, by the way. So, how how sideways can we make it? There we go. That ought to make someone on the internet happy. <laughs> oh, the outrage marketing. Yeah, Richard, sticking to your guns on your calls. I like that, brother. Yeah, I was right, man. And I've been right for almost two years now. Um... When will I get my credits? I mean, right about Celsius, right about picking up pennies in front of freight trains. For you guys that are just tuning in, Celsius stopped all withdrawals. Oh, and by the way, here's the funny part. They're also dumping the market. This is this is what I people don't understand. People send their money to Celsius trying to make yield like idiots, even though I invented Hex.com, where you mint your own yield. You mint your own yield with no counterparty risk. Nope, you don't have to worry about freeze withdrawals. Can't happen. You mint your own yield. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so Celsius needs to pay people. They need to generate yield. Kind of looks like a big security to me. A uh, bunch of middlemen handing out money. Mm, kind of sounds like a security. That's probably why the SEC sued them for being a security, I guess. Uh yeah, they're dumping the market like hell. You can see them doing massive transfers of like 30,000 Bitcoin and who knows how many Ethereum to the exchanges. And why do you think they're sending those coins to those exchanges? Probably to dump the price. So it's like, uh, it's not good, guys. And that scumbag, Mashinsky, you know, he talked crap about Hex. His coin's down 99%. Mashinsky. You talk crap 
about Hex, your coin is down 99%. You stopped withdrawals about an hour ago. And uh, you're getting everybody wrecked, you're scumbag. I tried to save them from you, Mashinsky. I tried to save all those people from you. By the way, Mashinsky, if you're listening, you scumbag you. You're the guy that said we were going to go make new all-time highs. I'm the guy that said the top was in. I saved everybody, and you fucked them because you're a scumbag. I don't know how you can sleep with yourself at night. You're trash. Human trash. So I'm out here trying to save people, trying to pull them out of the quicksand, and he's standing on their head, shoving them under. And there's a whole lot of guys doing that. How many people promoted his scam? How many people had uh, Celsius links, referral links? Lots. Lots. Did I? No. Because I'm trying to save you. And these guys are trying to hurt you. So, once again, I'm right. Over and over and over and over and over again. Maybe one day I'll get the credit I deserve. <clears throat> Maybe not with my hat sideways. But you know what? It's going to piss someone off. We could use the likes. To be growing a social following in the bear market is crazy. It's very hard to do. I'm glad to be doing it. By the way, guys, I care about more than crypto. I care about longevity research, medical research, fixing politics, fixing a lot of stuff, right? Like, I need followers for all of these things, not just crypto. So the social marketing that I'm doing, it's not just for crypto. We need all the new people. All the new people from all the new places. So I hit all these keywords when I'm doing my promotions. <clears throat> like Prada. Good keyword. Richard Hart done told you, the man in the sideways hat predicted the future for you. And uh, if you listened to him, you did very well. If you didn't, you got wrecked. When are you going to listen? Blows my mind. And remind, remember, <clears throat> these scumbags don't act alone. These scumbags have a lot of partners that they work with. They're in on the scam. So a lot of people promoted all these scum. A lot of people promoted Luna. A lot of people promoted Celsius. A lot of people had referral links. A lot of people got rich off of you losing all your money. I don't like that. Now let's take Hex. <clears throat> Hex, price went up a million percent. Then the price dipped. and dipped 80%, 70%, tons and tons and tons of times. Now our dip is a little bit, a little bit deeper than normal. Now we're having a dip similar to the dip that we had when we launched. We had a 93% dip more or less when we launched, depending on what you measured from. If you measure from when a market really existed, the biggest dip we had previously was like an 86% on the big payday, which is like November 19th of... 2019, I believe. So, you know, to have an 87% dip then and like a 93, 94% dip now while everything is dying and being slaughtered seems very reasonable to me. And everyone's been warned about this and told about this for years on hex.com. Hex.com slash how it works. Hex rewards uh, accurate expectations, realistic expectations. You know, don't risk more than you can afford, blah, blah, blah. It's a very, very honest, very, very open declares to you better the volatility of the stuff than any other website I've ever seen. I'm the guy that tells you crypto drops 85 or 95 percent often. Just me. Everyone else, they pretend it doesn't happen. Well, guys, hi. I'm right again. So let's see how many viewers we got here. <clears throat> Too many windows. Two thousand viewers, nice. And a whole lot of chat, my god. That's a lot of chat. I'm gonna close some of these other windows. Let my my poor little laptop live. Live, little buddy, live. You can do it. Let's close all the windows we can. All right, I've closed a bunch of windows. Hopefully that helps. Sorry about the potato camera, but uh, this is what my laptop's got. I wasn't set up to stream. You know, we were shooting all that video for the movie in uh, Iceland, and I wasn't, uh, I wasn't set up to stream. Oh, we got 3K people watching. Nice. Yeah, so once again, Richard Hart doing victory laps. Called top of the day. Bitcoin told you 27 days later, Ethereum. It did the same, told you don't pick up pennies in front of freight trains, withdraw your money, not your keys, not your coins. Celsius stops withdrawals today. 
Celsius is down 99%. Um, I, I can't be more right. I'm always right. It's like, what am, you know, it just sucks that the things I'm right about are things that are getting people are just choosing to get themselves wrecked. I, I know. What else I can do for you? You know, it's crazy. Oh, by the way, Hex.com is paying people interest every single day. Every single day in the bear market, Hex.com is paying people interest. Bull market, Hex.com is paying interest. Bear market, Hex.com is paying interest. You make 50% interest in a year. There's a 50% dip. You broke even. What do you care? You know? So, uh, at least I think that math's right. I get actually, a 33% dip would get canceled out by a 50% increase. <clears throat> Show the plane, please. I don't have a plane with me, bro. Can you call the bottom? Well, man, I think 11K is the Bitcoin bottom. Let's see when we get there, right? I like how everyone now is trying to pretend they're me, and pretend they call the top, and pretend, you know, 11, like, nope, my idea. I did it when no one else would do it. When Mashinsky was on Kitco telling you about a new moon, I was telling you, hey, it's over. It's crazy to me. Ah, uh, listen to this dumbass idiot in chat. Listen to this stupid scumbag. His name, as usual, with all these scumbags, is unpronounceable. Reduane Red, Bauchaker. I'm going to spell this for you. <laughs> what a piece of shit name. R-E-D-O-U-A-N-E-B-O-U-C-H-A-K-E-R? -E -E Down Bauchaker. Fuck your name, dude. Entirely. And while you're thinking about what a piece of shit name you were unfortunately born with, along with your unfortunate birth, he says, 10K you said never came. Hey, asshole, have you been watching the chart? It's just straight fucking down, ain't it? So when did I tell you it was going to come, you stupid fuck? Historically, a year after. Historically, you bought him a year after. That's what it did last cycle. So, fuckwit, did you wait the year before you started talking shit? No. You see, this time we had a problem. This time, good old Michael Saylor wanted to buy some more top. So he went and bought the fucking top with other people's money. Like an idiot. He was shit-talking Bitcoin in 2013, saying it was going to die like online gaming. Tweet still on Twitter. Okay, I took screenshots in case he deletes it. I was long as fuck Bitcoin. Doing very well. I was right. He was wrong. He decided to buy the top instead. Idiot. Bought it with other people's money. Now I believe he's lost money. I think he's $200 million in the hole now is what I've seen. I didn't do the math myself. I didn't check it. But what I'm reading on Twitter is that Michael Saylor, his dumb ass, is down $200 million on his purchases through his company, MicroStrategy. My team's winning. His team's losing. He, like Mashinsky, is a loser. Guys with money that get you wrecked. Insane to me. So, uh, <clears throat> how was I talking about? Oh, this guy. 10K never came. Well, asshole, let's just see how low it goes, huh? I'm sorry it didn't come fast enough for you. What do you want me to do for you, dude? I show you a chart. I show you the Bitcoin's dropped 85% three or four times before. I measure the 85% drop for you. It lands you at 11K. I'm telling you how I arrived at the conclusion, okay? I'm not, I'm not the Wizard of Oz. I don't move these prices myself, not usually, okay? And uh, it, what do you want me to do, man? The shit drops 85% three or four times. 85% from 69K. Let me do the math for you, since you're a prick. A fucking unpronounceable name. Uh, 69,000 times 0.15 is 10,350. Okay, scumbag. I'm sorry it didn't come fast enough for you. I'm sorry you don't like that the history shows this shit drops 85% all the time. Dumb fucking idiot. I hope you get liquidated, you piece of shit, you. Anyway, I, this is what I hate. I'm as right as you can possibly be, but it's not right enough for the begging scum that can't speak English properly. Can I get some of my fucking credit? Can I get my credit, please? Sorry about all the cursing, y'all. Oh, I'm a little bit tired, right? I'm in Europe. It's, like, very late here. Very, very late. <clears throat> But, oh man, I wish I didn't miss that guy to, to ban his ass. 
Hey, hey, mods. If you see that scumbag, ban on site, please. Scumbag. Unbelievable. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm out here doing victory laps, and I'm getting yelled at. Guys, I'm, I'm right about everything. What do you want me to tell you? I'm just going through chat, you know, when I lay into somebody, it sucks up time. I can't read chat. How long do I think it will last? So from my perspective, <clears throat> there's two things I care about when I'm calling tops, calling bottoms. I mean, there's a lot of stuff I care about, but I mean, right now I'm watching that grayscale premium discount, the 30% the off, 31% off fake Bitcoin from grayscale sucking away all of the institutional buy pressure so that no one will buy normal spot until that goes away you're not getting a bull run it's not happening as far as timing goes i mean i'm just looking historically at how long it's taken to bottom before but look guys uh you know they were printing a lot of money during the entirety of bitcoin's existence different game now they slowed that down a bit unless they turn the funnel back on i don't know i don't know if you 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 re-inflate after just a year it's possible let's see um and i care about price i want to see that 85 percent dump that i've seen so many times before because i've been here before all of you idiots that are watching that just got here i mined bitcoin in 2011 full blocks on my own solo new pool i used bitcoin before people even bothered paying fees you could use it for free with no fees because no one cared that's how long i've been in bitcoin but you stupid noobs that love to buy tops you don't realize 85% dips are in the game, even though it's written on the website. X.com slash how it works. 85% dips are in the game for everything. So like, I just, I write it for you. I draw you the chart. I tweet it. I scream about it. And it's like, you're not listening. And I'm doing it for free. I'm doing things worth billions of dollars for you for free. You're lucky. You're very lucky. <clears throat> well, in summary, like I care, like I, I, of the things I care about, I care probably 10 X more about that grayscale premium than I care about how much time has passed. And I care probably seven X more about hitting that 85% dump target than I care about how much time has passed. If that helps you understand the, uh, slightly troll, slightly troll, slight troll, normal, try normal for a while. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of uh, Sarah Connor from Terminator. That's what this hat looks like to me. This hat's fire. I like this. I got another one in uh, nylon. But this is better. Sweats less. It's nice, man. <clears throat> Somebody in chat says, will Hex rethink its tokenomics? Are you stupid, dude? Immutable. Do you know what that means? It means it's never changing. No one can ever change it. It's perfect as it is. It's doing the same things it's always done. Everything's perfect. 100% perfect flawless operation. 100% perfect flawless uptime. What are you talking about? Are you stupid? You, you, did you not read the website that said 85, 95% dips are in the game? It's been on the website for years. It's been, this thing's dipped 65, 75, 85%, 10, 14 times. Like, what, what are you, new? I don't get it. Very stupid question. Are, are we on-ramping new users? Yes. Is the average stake length going up? Yes. Is people's interest being minted by them with no counterparty risk daily? Yep. Everything's going good. Just you're in a bear market. It's in the game. Soon they will be copycats wearing Louis Vuitton Prada too. Yep. People like to copy me, man. Good to see that I'm streaming. I don't really want to be streaming, right? Like, you know, because my setup sucks. I'm waiting for Pulse Chain to be done, like, you know, but uh, there's some, like, now that Celsius stopped withdrawals and the market's dying more and making new lows, time for me to come make some more victory laps, I guess. Is Richard, uh, is the movie the highest of stakes still on pace for a 2022 release on Netflix? 
Um, I think the movie is supposed to be done, like getting cut together and stuff in like a couple weeks. And then it takes time to sell it like six months or something. So I don't think like the January of 2023 target has changed. That's always been the target. I think it's still on target for that. I was extremely impressed with all the footage I saw. Extremely. Those guys did a really fabulous job. And the stuff we did in Iceland, I think, take us to another level. Monster trucks, helicopters, two helicopters flying over volcanoes, you know. The stuff with the Playboy models, I think, helps, like, to show the humanity, you know, like what it's really like to hang out with me, stuff like that. Not to mention, you know, probably people like pretty faces. Any news on Pulse Chain? I covered it earlier. I just got to rewind the beginning, dude. Appreciate your time. Thanks, man. Hope we're getting some rest. Yeah, yeah. I sleep eight hours. It's just pretty late usually. Unless I don't eat much. I'm like eating pretty healthy. I'm eating clean, you know, like eating more food from the supermarket, less food from restaurants kind of stuff. Hashtag just bear market things. <laughs> saves time, saves money, and it's healthier. Ah, uh, yes, a new word for being banned. Uh, an altcoin mentioner. Hey, mods. No, oh, I don't know if you guys know how to access the banned words list. Do to do. Now I've got to change some tabs here, homies. Got to change some settings. One moment. Uh. God, where is this? Man, YouTube's interface has always been so bad. Where's the settings? Thank you, God. And a new word for the block list. Boop. All done. <clears throat> 3,400 viewers. Nice. Check it out, homies. Bling, bling. I love Hex. I think Hex is great. It's doing what it's designed to do. They've turned the game. It's just how it is, man. Volatility is the price you pay for the highest performing asset in the world. Who liked my twerk video, by the way? There was this one remix that was so good. My God. Like, I, I watched it maybe a hundred times. But unfortunately, the lyrics of the song were about a guy screwing me in my butt, which is unfortunate. It was because it was a very well done track. <laughs> uh, do you believe Bitcoin go down to 11K? Yes, I do. Richard, you're right. You should be on CNBC so people don't get wrecked. Agree. Agree, dude. I try what I can to save people. I really do. Everyone else is trying to kill them, and I'm trying to save them. Bro, YouTube is so crap. Killing me, YouTube, dude. You're killing me. Done. Falcon, your mod, yay. Oh, I need to stall around here. Jeez. The current bit rate is lower than the recommended bit rate. Bro, I'm at like 360p. We, don't not, we do not need a lot of bandwidth for this, YouTube. This is not a very intense operation that we're doing here. I think it's fine. I, I really think this camera is garbage, and so you don't need much bit rate, is my opinion. Um, where's my chat? There we go.
I'm trying to make this all work. I'm like totally not set up for this, guys. The whole streaming off the lappy thing. Not set up for it. All right. Would I buy Bitcoin at 11K? No. Why would I do that? It's trash. It only in five years went from 20K to 69K. It moved its all time high 3X in five years. In two years, Hex went up 10,000X. What's better? Three? Or 10,000. And Ethereum outperformed it three times. Like from the COVID dip, Bitcoin did a 19x. And Ethereum did like a 50 or 60x. Why wouldn't you just take the free extra 3x? Like, I, I think Bitcoin is a terrible investment compared to other cryptocurrencies. And the charts agree with me. So, I mean, it depends on why you're in crypto, right? If you like uh, to make money, I think uh, Bitcoin is trash for that. I, mean, I guess it's better than the stocks usually, but you know, I don't think you're going to see an 85% dip in the S&P 500, but I think you are going to see an 85% dip in Bitcoin. That's the thing. Like it's a new, it's new math to just measure from the bottom or from the top to the bottom because it ignores the thing that's more common, which is the bottom to the top. Because cryptocurrencies in general, as a, as an asset class, tend to go up more than they go down. Measuring from top down is stupid because it ignores from bottom up. So, like, that's why we have charts. You look at the chart. The chart shows you, like, the hex chart is still amazing. Still amazing. You bought early, you're still killing it. So, like, the only people that are cash negative are people that, you know, maybe bought in the last year, maybe. But what about all the guys that bought in a year and a half before that? They're up massive. So, people just, they're dumb. They don't listen. They don't look at charts. They just try and push their narrative. So, you know, Peter Schiff will never call a Bitcoin bottom. I'll call a Bitcoin bottom because I'm smarter than he is. So, you know. I should get, like, more awards for this rightness, this constant and never-ending rightness, and the 100% perfect flawless operation while everything else is wrecked all the time. I should get, like, a lot more respect for that because what else can I do? Like, 100% uptime. It's as good as it gets. It doesn't get better. <clears throat> Toby Holdstock says, Richard Hart started lifting weights and stopped cardio on your advice. and I've lost more percent in weight than in money this year. Thanks to your top call, your advice videos are greatest of all time on YouTube. Thanks, bro. Glad to hear that, man. Do you like Banksy Street? Already has a big following. Could be good. Yeah, he's all right. Over 3K in the chat shows the marketing's working. Hey, I'm glad to hear it, guys. Hex taught me how to set up my trucking company to take my competitors' customers at will. Thank you, Richard Hart. We love you, bro. Never sell cartel. Thank you, Bitfinesse. Richard, are you in a hotel room? This is stupid question time. Is that what we're doing? Stupid question time. No, bro. I'm in my castle, and I just decided to stream from the worst possible connection and worst possible device imaginable. <clears throat> Lost a whole lot of chat there. Sorry, guys. It's just what happens. Coming in here in voice is synced with no drop house. Thanks, man. Get the left calf knot under the skin looked at. Bro, there's no knot there, man. There's nothing there. Look. Look at that beautiful leg, okay? See it? Wait, let me make sure that you can see it properly, guys, okay? It's very important. See this? Beautiful, beautiful leg. Here we go. There was another one right here. Let me get the light on it for you. See that? There's no knots in it, mate. It's perfect. It's lovely. There you go. This is what we're doing. This is what we're doing for the bear market, everybody. Okay? Bear market things, all right? Now we've got the foot people in here. Someone actually made a website about my feet. That was pretty funny. Um, my legs are fine, bro. My body mass index, not fine. Working on it. Pulse launching at peak fear will be better anyway. How low do I think ETH will go? I mean, I'm just going to call it the same 85% dip, but in reality, probably goes 90, 95. Because life's not fair. Ethereum is a superior product to Bitcoin. 
but it's the BTC East pairs getting hurt. The East BTC pair. So similar to last time, when Ethereum was better back then too, I I think that Ethereum is likely to dip part of the Bitcoin. So I, I would love to say just ninety five percent, but you know what? I think that's a little optimistic. I think it does 90, 95%. My gut feeling, based on what I'm seeing in the East BTC pair, it looks like ass. <clears throat> Let me verify that it looks like ass. Let me make sure. So I haven't memorized that chart, you know. Trading is losing, so I don't spend too much time looking at these charts. Yeah, this chart looks real bad. This is not a good looking chart at all. Mm. Mm. It's not looking good, guys. The ETH BTC pair looks wrecked. Which is unfortunate because ETH is a superior product. But I mean, hey, if you're buying dips, you're buying bottoms, great. You're getting extra alpha, right? Buying a better bottom. Let's go back to chat. Any news on the wallet that's being worked on? There's like two or three devs working on it right now. Call the hex bottom. I don't make price calls in hex, man. I don't. If you put a gun to my head and said, what will the top be? I wouldn't have guessed like the local top would be 56 cents. Like, it's too hard to tell. Too many people can move the price up. Too many people can move it down. It's like, it's, it's much, much, it's impossible for me to predict to tell the truth. Like, I... Maybe one day it'll act more like other charts I can predict easily. But even if I could predict it, I wouldn't because it seems unethical to me. Good to see you, Richard. Had your miss. Thanks, man. Will Hex make new all-time high? It has after the last 10 or 11 not giant massive mind wrecking dips all the the underlying mechanics are doing very well lv nike shoes you got a pair well i'm supposed to have a pair they they gave me a special choice to get a very limited one that no one could get so i didn't check with my rep to, to see where it's at right now How likely is the Fed to pivot? I mean, I don't know, dude. Like, you're just trying to predict what a bunch of dudes that work for a private company are going to do. The Fed is a private company. I don't know what they're going to do, man. My gut feeling is they're going to do what they said they're going to do. They're going to try and stop this inflation. How are they going to do that? They're going to raise rates. What's that going to do? It's going to wreck basically the prices of almost everything. So, we'll see. Hey, Rich, around what month do you think we will bottom? And around what time are you watching inflation in the Fed? <laughs> let, let me check my clock. Uh, 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 I'm not sure, bro. <laughs> God. <clears throat> Is it true CIA owns Bitcoin? They might own some, but they didn't found it. That's what you're asking me. 
Can I twerk for proof of twerk? I'm the twerk god, dude. I'm like the best, probably the best twerking straight man. My guess. Some of you guys' comments are funny. What's my take on future gold prices? They'll get wrecked along with everything else. When they stop printing money, money becomes more rare. Money becomes more scarce. This makes the prices of things priced in money go down. So, it's like gold will get wrecked. Let's go look at the gold price right now. But remember, I was on a debate with Peter Schiff and got him to say... Gold is a bad investment. His words, again and again, just to buy those words, okay? But he thought gold mining stocks would be good, which really means he thought gold was going to go up, which really means he's probably wrecked right now. Let's go see whether I was right and uh, gold sucks or not. Here we go. Gold. And 1860 bucks. What was my Peter Schiff debate? If you guys want to pull up a Peter Schiff debate date, I'd love to know what the price was of gold then. Because this looks flat to me. This doesn't look ultra wrecked. This looks like, I mean, it's the same price it was in 2020. It's pretty flat. This this does not look ultra wrecked. <clears throat> but it is the same price it was uh, 20 years ago. So uh -huh. let me measure that for you. Gold is currently the same price that it was... Three thousand nine hundred and forty-eight days ago. Ten years, more. So, gold to same price now it was ten years ago. I think it's crap. Even though I've got nine million dollars of watches, which are primarily gold, my watches have murdered gold's performance. Did I lose chat? No. Give us the ability to sacrifice for Pulse? No. You missed it. You have to get it from somebody else. I say fake Telegram group with Richard Hart and 80,000 subscribers posting fake posts. Report it. Click report in the app. Report it, man. <clears throat> Thanks for the heads up. Will house price in the USA drop? Yeah. Yep. Yes, they will. Because interest rate goes up, which makes prices that you have to pay for a variable rate mortgage go up. Your monthly prices go up. People get foreclosed on. So you're you should be heading for all-time foreclosure rates if you're not already there yet. And that increases the amount of supply that's on the market. It also reduces the amount of people that want to buy new because everyone buys with loans, and loans became twice as expensive because the interest rate is twice as high, things like that. So yes, uh, real estate price, real estate should get wrecked if, if, if interest rates keep going up. Now you'll have pockets of places where they might not get as wrecked or might even be able to go up more. Like people leaving California and going other places moves up the prices of other places because California is so overpriced. People hate paying state taxes. It's like Colorado and California state taxes. People will leave, they'll go to Florida or Texas, and they don't have the state tax crap. But I would, like, I think, like, real estate's already down and should continue to go down as interest rates go up. Basically, the, the moral of the story is interest rates up, prices of almost everything down, that's it. It's that easy. <laughs> like, I, I'm very serious about that. Like, it's that easy. I can tell you mechanics of why that happens, but I, but I think that gist of it is, is useful. By silver, not gold. Lol. Isn't silver one of the most wrecked things? Let's go see what this idiot's losses look like on his silver bag. 
All right, silver bug. Let's go see how wrecked you are. Oof! Ooh! Nasty. So silver used to be 50 bucks in uh, 2011. Now it's 21 bucks. Gold is at its 10 year ago price. Silver is at half of its 10 year ago price. Riggedy, riggedy, wrecked, stupid silver guy. And it's also like, if we're going to talk like candlestick formation patterns, you're kind of like in a, a flag, like a, I don't know, dude. You're like a limp dick flag in silver and in gold. Let's go look. In gold, it's a better pattern. It's like, it still sucks, but it, at least it's a better shape. At least it's tilting upward a bit. I mean, silver's just trash, dude. Like, it's... What? It sucks. You lost half your money over 10 years. It sucks balls. You're stupid for shilling it. Stop. Learn from your mistakes, you idiot. Richard is a big kid at heart and genius at the same time. The best combo. Thanks for being the most genuine person in crypto, mate. Cheers. Thanks, man. See, look at how hot my head is here, right? Look at how bright it is. It's overexposed because this webcam sucks. Look at these wrinkles. It looks trash. So, boom. Multiple years younger. Look at that. Booyah. <clears throat> I look great. Thanks. You're old. I know, dude. It's being 42 is old. It's lame. I'd rather be 22. Everyone's like, Botox, Botox, Botox. No, hat talks. <laughs> uh, how do you protect your portfolio from recession? Wait for the bottom. Buy the bottom. I mean, that phrase is like tautological because it assumes you know where the bottom is, which is like, you know, pretty hard to do. Richard, so glad I could catch those sexy legs right when I jumped in. Respect girl with a profile picture that is a girl. That's probably not really a girl, but let's pretend. Now, the last time I said that, the girl sent me some pictures very much proving she was a girl. So, hey, Nick Hallerigal, uh <laughs> If you really want me to know you're a girl, I'm sure we can find a way to prove it. You guys are funny, man. You look tired? Yeah, I'm tired, man. It's really extremely late where I am. It is where you are. It's not late. I'm in Europe. It's late. It is late, dude. Really late. So look, I called the top of the day. I drew the chart. I'm giving the world's biggest free airdrop. Download my free self-help book, t.me slash scivive, S-C-I-V-I-V-E. Listen to the free audio book of it. SJ did one on YouTube. Search SciVive audiobook on YouTube. Someone invented an amazing chat, uh, an amazing search bot that you could search all of my old videos or like a lot of them for just things I said, like 11K. You can search for 11K and see all the times I called the 11K bottom or the 10K bottom. <clears throat> That's at uh, hexsearch.io, I think. I tweeted it. You can check it. Um, I hope you guys are following me on Insta, man. I post stuff to Insta. I don't post anywhere else. You could use the followers. Please follow me at insta.com slash Richard Hart official. Instagram.com slash Richard Hart official. 
<clears throat> twitter.com slash Richard Hart win. I got a quarter million followers on Twitter, 135K on here on YouTube, and uh, like 55K or 53 or 54K over on uh, Insta. Could use more Insta people. How can we send you pictures, says Candace from New Zealand. Ah, oh, God damn, what am I really doing? Uh, I'm Richard Hart. I'm one of the Richard Hearts that's the not scam one. So if you go on Telegram and like you go to t.me slash Richard Hart, that's me. There's a lot of fake me's out there. So I suggest you message the real me. No spaces. T.me forward slash Richard Hart. Somebody's telling me that there's like some Twitter space crap going on. But here's the thing, man. Unless I host the Twitter space, no one's got the balls to let me speak in the Twitter space. Because I crush and dominate everyone. And they look retarded. I'm done destroying them. They don't have the balls for it. So, I mean, I'll go look, but like the idea that I'm going to actually be able to speak in someone else's Twitter space is like probably not. I'm probably not going to be able to speak in someone else's Twitter space. Like it's never happened. If I act, if they accidentally give me the mic, they immediately stop as soon as they realize they're getting wrecked. So my own Twitter spaces are, are where the freedom happens. The, the highest of six is already wrapped, man. Like, it's done. It's, it's like, we might. If there's fine, if we find something that, like, that we could fill it in or, like, take it to the next level somehow, maybe we do it. But they have more than enough content to be done. Like, it's done enough. Do I have the blue check on Instagram? Yes, I do. I have a blue check on Instagram and on, t on Twitter. I didn't mess with stocks before crypto, no. We begin a two new test night after the code rewrites. I'm not sure. I need to see them. Peter Schiff is begging for me in spaces. All right, dude. All right. Okay. Let me go look. Let me go look. Let's go waste my time. Let's go pretend I'm getting a mic. This ought to be a laugh. I assume this, uh, sure. All right. I'll ask for the mic, all right? Okay. I asked for the mic. Let's see what happens, dudes. I'll hold my breath, all right? There we go. No one might going to look over at my phone the whole time to see if I got the mic. Seems super lame. Let me see where I'm at here. Uh, I don't know. You'll have to tell me when they like chat. You're gonna have to tell me if they let me speak, all right? But they never do. So. <clears throat> Is there any other way to know if I've been approved? No, you'll have to tell me what happens, guys. RG3 is like, there's no way they might hear you. are like, yep. That's right. The guy that was right about everything. Don't give him the mic. I raised my hand in spaces, bro. I sent the mic request. Is there another way? Is there another thing above and beyond mic request? I raised it again. Is that doing anything? Yeah, dude, why am I in here? Like, see, this is what pisses me off as well. I'm being punked for engagement. Like, the algorithm is going to see that I'm in there in the shit room full of retards. 
and then it's going to get free fucking engagement because I'm sitting in there. This pisses me off. These scumbags don't deserve my, my fucking views. They suck. Right? So I'm going to leave this room, and if they want me, they can fucking DM me. Disgusting. No free views for scumbags. No. So let's look here. Yeah, dudes, like, you wasted my time on that one. You get punked for engagement there, homies. That was stupid. My bad. My bad, I fell for it. Oopsie. I don't think it's Peter's room, dude. So I don't think he can do anything. I don't think he's a host. I think it's just a speaker. So I'm going to go back to paying attention to you guys instead of getting punked for engagement from losers. I called the top on the day. Peter called the top at the bottom. <laughs> Over and over and over again. He sucks. How am I? I'm okay. Just tired. I mean, look, I wish that uh, Hex was just mooning constantly. But you guys love clicking the sell button, don't you? Yeah, you do. You love to click it, huh? You wake up, you click it. You have lunch, you click it come home and you click it and then i get yelled at because you guys are selling it's crappy for me dude <laughs> it's, it's like god <clears throat> your debates are classic richard thank you Could you make another video exposing IOTA? Let's see how old fucking IOTA is doing, eh? You know what? Whenever you're feeling down, there's a couple charts I just love to check to see how wrecked they are. Let's go check out IOTA. Scumbags. Ooh, that's not a good looking chart. <laughs> yeah, that is a real not good looking chart. So let me tell you a little story about IOTA. You could have bought IOTA for, oh wait, there's better charts than this too. But whatever, this one will do. <clears throat> you could have paid for IOTA $6.06. Let me measure this uh, this dump for you here. How the like how this isn't just straight zero? It, it's always hilarious to me because you know something this bad really deserves zero. So uh, yeah, in one thousand six hundred and seventeen days, IOTA is down. 96.62%. Let's get a different time frame here for a laugh. In uh, 400 days, it's down 92%. <laughs> uh, the dump machine. Piece of crap. The founders of this thing are also human scum. A human is 
too good for them, really. Do something to reach out to minorities. Bro, have you heard me speak? Ah, yes, I remember that quote. My old old school out of it. Airdrop still happening. Yep, just working on it, man. Go play around with testnet. Go to pulsechain.com. Go play around with testnet. It's fun. Learn. How many other coin creators are doing lives right now in a major bear market? Can't think of anybody else. Thanks, man. Can the U.S. government stop hacks? It's extremely unlikely. Um, yeah, uh, it's immutable code on the blockchain that you run yourself and has no counterparty risk, no middlemen. Seems very hard to stop. See, oh, let's do some more measurements here for fun. Hex went up a million percent, guys. So other coins that dropped 92, 93, 95%, they didn't pump as hard first, okay? So if you're smart, if you're smart, and you measure where you got in, where you got out, that big ass difference, it, it helps a lot to have been up a million percent first. So these limp, weak coins that maybe do a 10X, maybe do a 100X, instead of a 10,000X, when they dump, they're taking away from your little mini gains that you made. When Hex dumps, it's taking away from your massive, amazing gains. You still have tons of gains left if you got in early. So a 90% dump in Hex is not like a 90% dump in anything else because most other things didn't go up like Hex did. So let me give you another example, you stupid idiots. Let's say, let's say I took Bitcoin, okay? And let's say it was uh, 69K. And then for fun, for a laugh in this funny example, I 10X the price real quick and then 10X dumped it real quick and just wicked it up and down. All you idiots at home would be having heart attacks. Like, oh my God, I'm so wrecked. I'm so wrecked. It's down 90%. Because it would be now 90% because I wicked the price up 10X and then back down. But in reality, it's, Everyone's gains that got in were the same. Somebody just wicked it up and wicked it back down. So like this, this idea that you ignore the whole movement from the bottom to the top and you only look at the top down is noob mode, stupid. Not all 90% drops are the same. Some 90% drops come from stuff that never went up much. And some 90% drops come from something that just is paying you interest every single day, like Hex is. But you guys are too stupid to know it. It's just crazy to me. That's why we publish charts. <clears throat> Richard talks to me like my mom talks to me and it feels like home. Nice. I talk like a mom. Tight. <clears throat> oh yeah, you get paid when other people merge the stake too. If you're staker. True. For sure, it's stable claim. Probably one day, but it's, it's not really on the roadmap right now. We've got too many other things going on. Wallet and Pulse Chain, Pulse X. Those things are up top, Premier. Hide user and channel. If you're shilling all in my chat, bro, you're banned. Period. I don't care how much other text you put around your shill. It's not shilling, it's a question. No, banned. Where did I get sunburned? Out in the sun, bro. Unlike Mashinsky, who's probably hiding in some bunker somewhere. I'm out in public, living life, living a dream. Because I said 
I do everything I said, and everything I said that would likely to happen happened. I say dips are in a game. I say stuff drops 85, 95%. I say not your keys, not your coins. I say don't pick up pennies in front of freight trains. I call the top. I'm, I'm happy. People on my team are happy. Somebody asked if cell was hacked. No, dude, wasn't hacked. They just decided to turn off all the withdrawals because you suck middleman D. You suck middleman D and the middleman said no. Just made you keep sucking. I'm going to let you out. You're on the forever suck now, bud. When motorcycle? Probably not, dude. Probably not. All right, everybody. You better have enjoyed this chat because I've been tired. Follow me on Insta, Instagram.com slash Richard Hart Official. Follow me on Twitter, Twitter.com slash Richard Hart Win. Follow me on this thing, YouTube, Richard Hart. Telegram, T.me slash SciVive for the free book. Free audio book, YouTube, type SciVive audio book. Um, T.me slash HexCrypto, PulseChain.com, PulseX.com. We have the world's largest free airdrop coming up. Copy of all your coins on Ethereum, including all your C20s on a brand new chain. Oh, yeah. Celsius reportedly transferred $320 million worth of crypto to FTX. Yeah. Believable. Before announcing they would halt all trading and withdrawals on the platform. Yeah, it kind of sucks, eh? <laughs> Stop giving your coins and your keys to other people, please. Not your keys, not your coins.